This time we're going to graph an inequality and write the interval notation for it. And this is going to be a little more difficult. This time the number is on the left and the letter is on the right. <clears throat> so what we have here is that 9 is greater than or equal to any number that x might equal. Which means, of course, that x is less than or equal to 9. So this is written a bit backwards, and you have to be very clear on that. 9 is going to be the rightmost endpoint, since it's greater than anything x might equal. I draw my number line. I say where 0 is located, and then I make a convenient and appropriate scale. OK, I go to 10 on the right. And I'm sure to point out where 9 is. I'll have a bracket whose arms are pointing to the left and an arrow going to the left. Because remember, 9 is greater than any number x might equal. So even though the inequality sign is pointing to the right, the arrow on the graph, graph is pointing to the left. This can be complicated. Really, the inequality should have been written as follows. x is less than or equal to 9. Now write the interval notation. Be careful to put the leftmost number symbol on the left and the rightmost on the right. That means negative infinity goes on the left and 9 goes on the right. And don't forget your bracket.